Here at Amazing Discoveries, we are working on a documentary entitled Enmity. And we thought it would be beneficial for us and for you, our viewers, to look a little deeper into the aspect and the idea of enmity. What is it? And so I would like to welcome you to Inside Enmity. Welcome again to Inside Enmity. In this edition, we're going to be talking about the enmity of the law. I'd like us to take a look at Romans chapter 8, verse 7 together. There the Bible says, Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. This enmity that's between the carnal mind and between God, and it's not subject to the law of God, is kind of an interesting topic. It spans all of humanity, really, because we are either one of two minds. We are either of the carnal mind or we are of a spiritual mind. The verse just before this gives us a little indication of that. In verse 6 of that same chapter, it says, For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So if we think about that a little bit, being carnally minded, being fleshly minded, is death. What does that mean? What does it mean to be carnally minded? Uh, you know, you think of what else causes death. When I think of carnally minded, I also think of Romans chapter 6, verse 23, where it says, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So if carnally minded leads to death, and you have that sin, the wages of sin is death, then to be carnally minded is to be sinfully minded, to be fleshly minded, to, be, to have your mind against the law of God because the Bible tells us in 1 John 3, 4 that the transgression of the law is sin. That's carnal mindedness. And it says it cannot, it's at enmity with God because it cannot be subject to the law of God. It refuses to be subject to the law of God. Just as Lucifer refused to be uh, subject to the authority of God in his life, so these people having the same aspect of character in their heart and mind reject the law of God. And so it builds up this enmity. And we see the exact opposite of that in the people who are spiritually minded. For it says to be spiritually minded is to be have life and peace. It is that which Jesus exemplified as he walked this earth. And so to be carnally minded, be having this enmity against the law, are these people who are so against the law of God. And in rejecting the law, they reject Jesus himself. Because Jesus came and he lived a perfect life. He said, I come not to destroy the law, but to fulfill. He came and he fulfilled. He satisfied it. He lived it to the full. There was, there was no element of sin in his life. He lived the law perfectly. He lived a perfect character, a life of a perfect character, which is what God desires in us as his people. And those who have a spiritual heart who love the Lord are then moving that direction. But those who are of carnal mind, fleshly sinful mind, those are people who have this antagonism, this hatred for the law of God. Additionally, in the book of Romans, Paul talks about this very same thing. We go back to the very first chapter of Romans. He talks about those who've rejected God and rejected this idea. In beginning in verse 21 of Romans chapter 1, it says, Because of that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made unto the corruptible man to birds, to four-footed beasts, and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. And so here it talks about in Romans, it says, they, be, they professing themselves wise, they became fools. That's very similar to the wisdom that was corrupted in Lucifer's own experience in heaven. When we look at this enmity, 
of those whose hearts are against God and against his law. There's this hatred for the law. But in that hatred that Satan instills in them, this attitude against the law, there is also a returning hatred from God himself, not for the people. Uh, we don't always often want to attribute this attitude of hatred to God, but God describes himself as hating things in the Bible. And the law, being the perfect character of God, then exemplifies that to us in Scripture. In Proverbs chapter 8, we read where God hates certain things. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13 says, The fear of the Lord is to hate. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy and the evil way and the froward mouth do I hate so yes God does hate things he hates evil I mean who wouldn't have a hatred for something that has separated you from someone you love you think of a child who's <clears throat> suffered through uh, a, a lifetime of abuse of an alcoholic home and they they may grow up to have this hatred for alcohol altogether the whole idea of that is hateful to them it's they despise it you have people who have lost their loved ones in wars and and conflicts and they they despise violence they hate war just just look about you i mean there's whole organizations based on this very reaction of hating that which has separated us from our loved ones we think of mothers against drunk drivers in the united states is a perfect example those these parents who've lost their children to drunkenness and dying because they've dri driven drunk they hate that conduct they don't hate the people they hate the conduct and so there's this enmity that grows and so we we can understand this hatred that god has that has separated us from him you see this character of god that the carnal mind is enmity with the law it, it is because the law so exemplifies the character of god scripture defines the law and god as being equal god is holy the law is holy god is righteous the law is righteous god is true the law is true god is eternal the law is eternal we could go on down the line the law and god are one and the same it's God's character. It's God's character deep down in his heart is that he loves us and he wants to be with us. He wants to spend eternity with us. That has been his desire from the very beginning. And this enmity that is between the law and the carnal mind, this hatred that God has is only a hatred towards the things that separate him from those he loves. That would be you and me. So I would encourage you, I would implore you to desire to have a mind that is a spiritual mind, that you would love the purity and the holiness of God because his desire is to draw near to you. And so that's what we see when we see this enmity against the law in the Bible.